Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be in the world. This is Hajin Lee with a morning update for Bitcoin. It's a beautiful fall day here in Massachusetts. Sun is shining. Every morning I go out, get my dose of sun, not only on my eyes directly for full spectrum, but on my skin as well for at least 20-30 minutes and it's cold yep so I have a private backyard no one's behind me sit on a reclining chair and enjoy the sun <laughs> morning sun has tremendous positive effect on your health I think especially if the UVA and the infrared light go through your eyes to the back of your RPE, retinal pigment, retinal pigment epithelium, and that connects to the pineal gland and the suprachiasmatic center as well as the part of the brain that really controls your circadian rhythm and your hormone homeostasis. A lot of science, but anyways, here is a very nice chart of Bitcoin. I'm using Bitfinex on this chart. And this is the chart I left you with last night. And I, I don't know what the problem with was on the video. I checked it with an external source uh, on a different computer place fine. And I don't think I don't think it's on my end this time. I, I, something maybe on YouTube. But I checked it again and I see suddenly that the number of views on that video has increased, so it must be working. If it still is not working for last night's video, please let me know in the comments. So anyways, here is the um, wave count of 3, 4, and I'm projecting 5 to be at around 7,200, maybe higher, I don't know. And this broadening pattern it's still keeping prices well within it. I think there might be a first spike out. Coming back down again. And one more spike out. Now the key here is if prices spike out and stays and keeps going higher, that's a different story. We will address that if that happens. That means that wave five is going to be extended, which is quite common. And if that's the case, we're going to see maybe 9,000. I've consistently for two months now been saying 79,000 is about the range. Right for now, I'm taking the lower end because of the count. And if wave five extends, we can see as the highest 9,000. And what the MACD will be is just scrape the top line of the ceiling. <laughs> I've seen that in equities, where the S&P just scrapes the top line, doesn't go down because of, because of the goosing effect from the central banks. But I don't. there's no goosing going on here for Bitcoin. I think it's most pure Elliott Wave sentiment driven process. Now we saw here, just like here, the, the white leading indicator dipping. Now it's dipping up. See how it's curling back up? So I think all time do I highs are straight ahead of us for waves three or five or five. On a shorter time scale, Here's the recent 3,000 bottom that we had. I changed the count to one, a one, two, three, four, and five. We just finished the ABC correction. I had previously labeled this three, here's three, but I've raised it to a higher projection. I believe the 1.618 projection of around 6,200 is wave 3. We'll then do a wave 4.
um, correction. Now you might be thinking, well, this wave is overlapping too much. I'm thinking this might be an ending diagonal. And um, if this is wave 5 of 3, I know that it's where for wave 5, wave 1, and corrective wave cease to really end in have an ending diagonal. But that's for equities. And I think for cryptos, it's a whole no new ball game. So I've labeled as a, a more of an ending diagonal here, which will then lead it to wave 4. And then we'll see a new impulse to wave 5. And this is the one that could get significantly extended. The final Hawaii is what I'm calling it. Now talking about ending diagonals in um, wave 5. So if this was 3, 4, what I have been calling is this as 3, this as 4, and 5. So let's just put the label there for, oh, there's 5 already. Thank you. Let's put 5 somewhere here. I labeled this as 3 and this as 4. And in staring at this blank chart for a while, I was thinking, what if this was 3? What if this was 4? Okay. And then we have an extended 1, clearly. One, two. Three, four, five. This would be an ending diagonal, wave five. And it would be very fitting and matching to what this pattern is giving. An upward pointing symmetrical triangle, which is bearish. If this was 3 and this was 4, then we are looking at an extended 1. So if, if what I'm doing right now here basically is labeling this as an ending diagonal, pretty much. <coughs> and uh, excuse me. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but in this ending diagonal, I guess wa wave 1 will be extended clearly. You can label the subwaves of this. <coughs> so if wave one is extended, usually wave two, three, four, and five. So for height from here to wave five is less than wave one. So if wave one, I'm not going to do the math, I'm just going to draw a line. Was this height? Then we can see that Approximation is I try to eyeball it because I hate pulling out the calculator and subtracting the top minus and so then we 
5 could be at 65.45. In fact, I think the real rule is that if wave 1 is extended, the height from 2 to 5 is 0.618 of 1. So it would be about here. This would be the top if this is an ending diagonal of the fifth wave. And that's pretty interesting because it tells you to be more cautious. So if this is the top, the minimum target for top is 60. Six thousand four hundred. I'm sorry. Let's bring it back up here. Sixty-five hundred. Then you've got something else coming. I mean, it, it's not boding very bullish. I know I'm getting messages um, from my other colleagues saying, "Oh, what's his name? Tone vase." is bullish, bullish, bullish. I'm sure he is. I'm glad for him. I'm just not going to, I'm just going to rely only on my analysis. That's all. And I still, I, I think we can go to 9,000. There's a scenario I already explained that to you. But I'm giving you a bit of a counterpoint here to that 7,200, 9,000 projection of this count. Three, four, one is extended. Two, three, four, and here's the thing: on a ending diagonal, wave five could be this. We're going to get a new all-time high, but this could be wave five, which is within the point six one eight point seven eight six range of the height of the extended one. And what does that mean? That means this. <laughs> so this is my new saying. Instead of saying, now is not the time to be buying, but now is the time to be considered taking selections. I shall add that here. And I'll say profit because I'm not taking a loss. I'm taking a profit. Dang, yeah. So once again, if I move this as three and this as the big Roman numeral four, this is we, and then this fits to this contracting triangle. And I'm naming this fifth wave as an ending diagonal. And wave one is extended as noted by the subwaves of the blue. In other words, instead of wave three or five being the longest, wave one is the longest. Wave two, three, and four, the height from bottom of two to the height of wave five will be less than the height of wave one, usually by 0 0.68, I'm sorry, 0 0.618 and 0.786. And it is approximately in that range. That means at around 6200, aha, which is a 1.618 Fibonacci point,
it's right there and it might overshoot actually and often doesn't overshoot one last gas power <coughs> And the ending diagonals often retrace they often retrace below where it started started here. So this makes sense. Here's a strong support, horizontal support. So twelve hundred. And I and I'm now leaning towards this count to be more and most probable because this wedge shape upward pointing has been kind of knocking me on the back of my head saying if you've got this wedge shape how are you going to see 9,000 and and this is per fits perfectly to it too here's a line Here's the wedge, it's the same exact same wedge. And it fits perfectly like a jigsaw puzzle to this. So we may so we're gonna see all time highs. This rhymes with what I just explained. The only thing is I'm putting seventy two hundred here. Can easily be here, but I'll keep it here for now. This also runs with it. I'm putting 7,000 something hundred here, but it can all be truncated down. But this, and, and this could extend to about 7,000 overshoot. It's called a throw over, technically, I believe. It throws over this white line resistance. For one last, like a drowning person trying to come up with, w w to the air above water for one last gasp of air and before sinking back again. And I think that's a pretty good analogy to this very bearishly boating, upward pointing, ending diagonal count that I'm presenting. So be careful. Be very, very cautious. Now is not the time to be buying. Now is the time to be taking your profit. Because there's too much bearish topping warnings flares coming out, both in Elliott Waves and in chart patterns, and in MACDs topping. Let's step back here a little bit. Using, let's say you don't even see the price, hold on. You don't even see the price. And some people trade like this. They don't care about what the price looks like, what the chart looks like. They will just go by the MACD. And on using just MACD, where would you have bought? Bought here. I would have bought here. Bought here would be a nice would have been a nice buy. Beautiful bottom buy. Okay. Classic buy. Very yummy, delicious buy here. Now, where would you have sold? I 
out of salt here. Salt there. This would have been a major cell, screaming cell. In fact, if you got out here, you would have been still good. Right here. When you saw this coming down, you should have been thinking, oops, danger, Will Robinson. Now is not the time to be taking buy actions here. Now is the time to be taking sell actions. And let me ask you, how frequent different is this? How different is this here to this, 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 this? It can maybe go up a little more. Sure, it's cooling up. But is now the time to be buying? Just looking at the MSCDs. Forget about the forget about the price. No. And once we start putting in that this final leg up, Hedgin will be pounding the table with this message. And once we start curling down, Hedging's going to start kicking the table and throwing the chairs with this same message to go safe. And the quote that I'm going to end this with again is what I posted the other day. It is better to be out of the market in cash. Wishing you were in. Then in the market, wishing you were out. Action of this count. Three, four, one is extended. Two, three, four. And here's the thing on a ending diagonal. Wave five could be this. We're going to get a new all-time high, but this could be wave five, which is within the 0 0.618, 0 0.786 range of the height of the extended one. And what does that mean? That means this. <laughs> so this is my new saying. Instead of saying, now is not the time to be buying, but now is the time to be considered taking sell actions. I shall add that here. say profit because I'm not taking a loss I'm taking a profit dang yeah so once again if I move this as three and this as the big Roman numeral four this is we and then this fits to this contracting triangle and I'm naming this fifth wave as an ending diagonal and wave one is extended, as noted by the subwaves of the blue. In other words, instead of wave three or five being the longest, wave one is the longest. Wave two, three, and four, the height from bottom of two to the height of wave five will be less than the height of wave one usually by 0.68, I'm sorry, 0.618 and 0.786. 
and it is approximately in that range. That means at around 6200, aha, which is a 1.61. And what does that mean? That means this. <laughs> so this is my new saying. Instead of saying, now is not the time to be buying, but now is the time to be considered taking selections. I shall add that here. And I'll say profit because I'm not taking a loss. I'm taking a profit. Dang, yeah. So once again, if I move this as 3 and this as the big Roman numeral 4, this is we, and then this fits to this contracting triangle. And I'm naming this fifth wave as an ending diagonal. And wave 1 is extended as noted by the subwaves of the blue. In other words, instead of wave 3 or 5 being the longest, wave 1 is the longest. Wave 2, 3, and 4, the height from bottom of 2 to the height of wave 5 will be less than the height of wave 1, usually by 0.68, I'm sorry, 0.618 and 0.786. And it is approximately in that range. That means at around 6200, aha, which is a 1.618 Fibonacci point, right there and it might overshoot actually and often doesn't overshoot so anyways here is the um, wave count of three four and I'm projecting five to be at around seven thousand two hundred maybe higher I don't know and this broadening pattern is still keeping prices well within it. I think there might be a first spike out. Coming back down again. And one more spike out. Now the key here is if prices spike out and stays and keeps going higher, that's a different story. We will address that if that happens. That means that wave 5 is going to be extended, which is quite common. And if that's the case, we're going to see maybe 9,000. I've consistently for two months now been saying 79,000 is about the range. Right for now, I'm taking the lower end because of the count. And if wave 5 extends, we can see as the highest 9,000. And what the MACD will be is just scrape the top line of the ceiling. <laughs> I've seen that in equities, where the S&P just scrapes the top line, doesn't go down because of, because of the goosing effect from the central banks. But I don't. There's no goosing going on here for Bitcoin. I think it's most pure 
Elliott wave sentiment driven process. Now we saw here, just like here, the, the white leading indicator dipping. Now it's dipping up. See how it's curling back up? So I think all time do I highs are straight ahead of us for waves three or five or five. On a shorter time scale, here's the recent 3,000 bottom that we had. I changed the count to one, a one, two, three, four, and five. We just finished the ABC correction. I had previously labeled this three, here's three, but I've raised it to a higher projection. I believe the 1.618 projection of around 6,200 is wave three. We'll then do a wave four. Um, correction. Now you might be thinking, well, this is three, four. What I have been calling is this as three, this as four, and five. So let's just put the label there for, oh, there's five already. Thank you. Let's put five somewhere here. I labeled this as three and this as four. And in staring at this blank chart for a while, I was thinking, what if this was three? What if this was four? Okay. And then we have an extended one, clearly. One, two. Three, four, five. This would be an ending diagonal, wave five. And it would be very fitting and matching to what this pattern is giving. An upward pointing symmetrical triangle, which is bearish. If this was three and this was four, the then we are looking at an extended one. So if if what I'm doing right now here basically is labeling this as an ending diagonal, pretty much. <coughs> and uh, excuse me. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five. But in this ending diagonal, I guess wa wave one will be extended clearly. You can label the sub waves of this. <coughs> so if wave one is extended, usually wave two, three, four, and five. So for height from here to wave five is less than wave. In fact, I think the real rule is that if wave one is extended, the height from two to five is 0.618 of one. So it would be about here. This would be the top. If this is an ending diagonal of the fifth wave. And that's pretty interesting because it tells you to be more cautious. So if this is the top, the minimum target for top is 60, uh, 
6,400. I'm sorry. Let's bring it back up here. 6,500. Then you've got something else coming. I mean, it, it's not boating very bullish. I know I'm getting messages um, from my other colleagues saying, oh, what's his name? Tone Vase is bullish, bullish, bullish. I'm sure he is. I'm glad for him. I'm just not going to, I'm just going to rely only on my analysis. That's all. And I still, I, I think we can go to 9,000. There's a scenario where explained that to you. But I'm giving you a bit of a counterpoint here to that 7,200, 9,000 projection of this count. Three, four, one is extended. Two, three, four. And here's the thing on a ending diagonal. Wave five could be this. We're going to get a new all time high, but this could be wave five, which is within the 0 0.618, 0 0.786 range of the height of the extended one. And what does that mean? That means this. <laughs> so this is my new saying. Instead of saying, now is not the time to be buying, but now is the time to be considered taking.